Welcome back, everybody. You know we love to get deep into things here. And today, we're tackling something pretty huge. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, he just dropped this album, GNX, completely out of the blue. Yeah, no kidding. Like, no promo, no warning, nothing. Just boom, 12 tracks appear online November 22nd. It's not even on his usual label, right? This is under Peak Lang, his yeah. own thing. Exactly. Like, right off the bat, you know Kendrick's doing things his way with this one. So, for this deep dive, we are going to break down GNX, all the buzz around it. Some of the tracks are wild. Like, you got Wast Out Murals. Uh, it's the one with all the Drake drama. You know? Oh, yeah, we'll definitely get into that. And then there's Luther. That's the SCD collab. I mean, look, just from the title alone, you can tell it's going to be interesting. And then just a fun little fact, Squabble Up. That song was originally called Broccoli. Wait, seriously? Yeah, and it samples this, like, 80s track. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. But, I mean, let's back up for a second. What do you think about this whole surprise drop thing? Like, strategically, it's pretty genius. Totally. It goes against everything we expect from the music industry these days, right? We're so used to the slow, drip feed, like, months of teasing and singles and all that hype. But Kendrick just drops this whole project on us, and it forces us to engage with it immediately on his terms. It creates this instant buzz. Everyone's talking about it. And he's kind of known for doing things differently, right? Like controlling his narrative. Yeah. This just feels like another example of that. Absolutely. He's not playing the industry game. He's making his own rules. No. Okay, but let's talk about that Drake feud. Waxed out murals. I mean, come on. He's going in. Oh, yeah. He brings up Snoop Dogg who apparently was involved somehow in how this whole thing started. And then Kendrick basically declares himself the winner of this whole rap battle. What do you think? I mean, is it over? Well, the Drake-Kendrick rivalry goes way deeper than just like a diss track here and there. These are two of the biggest names in hip hop, two different styles, two different approaches to the whole art form. And they've been going back and forth for years, kind of pushing each other, pushing the boundaries of what rap can be. It's like they make each other better, right? through the competition. Yeah, I think so. And on GNX, Kendrick uses this feud to explore some really complex ideas. Like, about competition, yeah, but also legacy, authenticity, what it means to be successful in this game. It's like high stakes chess, but with rhymes. Pretty incredible stuff. Totally. But it's not all about Drake, right? I mean, Kendrick gets pretty introspective on waxed out murals about the whole Super Bowl LIX controversy. Mm -hmm. Remember, some people weren't too happy about him being chosen for the halftime show. Oh, yeah. I remember that. He shouts out Nas on the track for supporting him through all that. But he also kind of hints at maybe regretting it, like maybe disappointing Lil Wayne by taking the gig. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, it shows a different side of him, right? Like, yeah. the Super Bowl halftime show, it's a huge deal. It's not just a performance, it's a statement. Who gets to represent hip-hop on that stage? Kendrick was a controversial choice for some, and this reflection, the potential fallout, it makes you realize the pressure he must be under. Yeah, it's a lot to carry. Speaking of controversies, uh, I gotta address this. I know there are all these rumors flying around about a Taylor Swift feature on GNX. I hate to break it to you all, but Taylor Swift is not on the album, sorry. It's funny though, right? How much attention those rumors got. Even though there was no actual collaboration, the idea of Kendrick and Taylor working together generated so much hype. That's the power of a good collab rumor. Exactly. It shows you how these partnerships can create this anticipation and reach a way bigger audience. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll actually happen someday. We can dream. All right, so wrapping it all up, Kendrick's had a pretty monumental year, wouldn't you say? Chart-topping hits, Grammy nominations, this surprise album drop right before his Super Bowl performance. I mean, the guy is not messing around. Not at all. He's controlling the narrative. He's on his own terms, pushing boundaries. It's it's exciting to watch, honestly. And where does GNX fit into all of this? Like, is it a masterpiece? Is it just another chapter in this whole Drake saga? Or is it like both? I don't know. Yeah, I think that's what's so great about it. It's up for interpretation. It makes you think, makes hmm. you feel. And that's what makes Kendrick such a powerful artist. Well said. Uh. So if you haven't already, go stream GNX. Decide for yourself what stands out to you. What does it all mean? Think about it. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time.